Hello, how are you beautiful people? Five of you already here. Wow. We're just rushing in now. So what have we got for you? It's uh, silver. It's the day of silver today. Um, wow, what a day it is as well for the mighty uh, bridesmaid to gold that is silver. And uh, I want to go over a couple of things with everyone who's uh, shown up. So welcome to you. Yep, silver says Uchi codes. Yep, indeed, silver it is. So let's uh, have a little chat. I've got my screen and my um, factoids over here on the charts. Uh, hello from Singapore. Yes, hello to you. Um, sold mine the other day. Typical. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Why you do such a thing? This is the beginning of the Great Reset, and it's starting with the precious metals. Let's get uh, the silver chart up for you and just talk you through it. There you go. XAG USD. Um, so we've run $19. We've run $19, folks. By the way, um, while you're there, hit the likes hit the share, smash it out to your Twitter. Let's bring some folks in and let's get some, let's talk about what's going down in the precious metals. Silver US dollar. Oh, by the way, also in the, the links before I forget, for those of you that are realizing that this is going to be a moon shoot precious metals fiat recession into major financial reset collapse, that is going to be the defining economic event of your living life that will surpass 2008 in scale. And you're looking at the charts of the silver US dollar and you're watching it at 19.1 when it was trading sub 14.5 um, in mid-May. Mid-May, beginning of summer, September, kind of officially the beginning of autumn. In one season, in one summer of discontent, what do you get? You get uh, $5, um, going on $5 onto a sub $15 silver. Um, and that is a third on, he says, thinking about his schoolboy uh, mathematics. That's a third on. Um, when you're sub 15 and you pick up almost five, um, that is a third. So 33 and a third percent move. And we have not yet begun to fight because the most important chart that I'm telling you about, fine people, is your XAG XAU. Um, welcome to my members of my awesome premium community. We've been trading silver long and we have also been investing in silver. And I've been keeping people out of the bear market and saying, accumulate, accumulate, invest only. And we even traded short during the periods of 2012 and 2016. From 16, it got a nice little bump run um, on the China debt scenario. And now we are truly, I think this is a truly a significant macro move. Does that mean it'll only be one way up like today, every single day? No, 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 there will be levels, there will be rests, but this has the risk of getting seriously parabolic and really, really shooting through the moon. It's brought Bitcoin back into life to the upside uh, and kept it uh, above the 10Ks and zipping up above the 10Ks. Gold is responding in its own way, but not nearly as much. So I'm going to change right here, pull this uh, here screen a little closer to me, um, and I'm going to get the big one that I want to talk to you about, the XAU, XAG. Hit him in and let's have a little look see at that. Now, this is throwing it down. What am I talking about? I'll say it again. XAU, gold, one gold ounce, your base metal, gold ounce, two, XAG, silver, um, your alternative precious metal. Hit 93.5, folks. Hit 93.5, just sub 94 and a high. That means... One gold ounce got you 93 and a half silver ounces. And that is bearish for precious metals, even though the precious metals had started to stir because gold starts to move first. He gets out of bed. He's the old man, the old King Cole. He rolls slowly out of bed. His little young, sprightly, yappy um, Jack Russell is still a dozing and opening half an eye uh, and spots old King Cole rolling out of bed. 
keeps half an eye and the tail just twitches, but no other great movement. But once old King Cole lumbers onto his gout ridden feet, um, the tail moves into a little bit of rear guard wiggles and up stands the little bouncy Jack Russell. And he starts a scampering with far more vigor and far more delight. And this is what's happening right now. The ratio between silver and gold is now spilling furiously. So we have a technical pattern, which was the rising wedge. My premium guys have known about this for a long, long time. I've been discussing it with them. And in fact, we're doing non-farm payrolls. And you can come in as a guest for the discounted and very generous fee of $197. You can join us for the full traditional markets, which will inv involve trading the precious metals, which I am doing right now. Um, we will also go on crypto fines in the afternoon, which will be Bitcoin. Interesting move today as well. After taking our grind line to the south side, we were initially right on the sell. It then was in a right falling wedge and bumped out of the falling wedge. And we closed before it did too much damage. And it's run really strongly. So it is now awoken too. But this is the star in terms of which one moves. It's silver and it's about the precious metals. But the risk on elements is coming back in. Thought that we'd get put on ice. I think they're going to have to slow this all down in actual fact at some point because it gets disorderly. And when it gets disorderly, the control structure doesn't like that. It undermines them. They get upset. Welcome to the 71 new people that have come on. Thank you for the 17 of you who liked. I'll just talk to you lot. No, I'm just kidding. I'm addressing everybody. But if you wish to join, join the likers and hit the bell so that you get notified for future um, go live streams, especially as we are in reset times and it is absolutely rolling as we anticipate at the macro level like it should, then you might enjoy this. And you may actually be one of the many um, wise ones that actually come out of this a whole bunch wealthier. So let's have a quick pause on our amazing uh, rising wedge that's suddenly breaking with real conviction. And that's always the important thing you need. A pattern that has run, ladies and gentlemen, from 2011 uh, first quarter when gold and silver was at its all-time high lows, sub the 32 ratio relationship, right the way up to 93.5. So I'll come back to what that means, but I'm just going to salute you all and have a little look at the comment section here on the other screen. Great move today, says uh, Waldia7. Richard, buy more now or wait for pullback. Invest now and accumulate without leverage. Um, we've we, we've just had a target run on a small time frame HVF. So we took little snippets of moves with leverage. You've got to be a lot more nip and tuck uh, about getting in with leverages because at some point we could have big smackdowns. We are reaching a number of levels and I'll go back to the actual silver chart, but I've got to finish here on the uh, ratio because this, if there's one chart I want to discuss here, it's the ratio because this is the final nail in the coffin for those that think there's still a bear market in gold. This is absolute confirmation that we are in a parabolic bull market. Um, parabolic when you see it on weekly in history and you look back. And it was actually ironic. Um, I've just done a newsletter to all those on our subscriber list and it's going, it's one of those clever little emaily things that only sends it out when the algo thinks you're smart, you know, all of that dumb stuff. And I just wish it had gone out um, yesterday because now it almost looks like, yeah, we kind of wrote it after the event. But anyway, um, I'll tell you more about that newsletter. Let's just finish saying hello to you. Um, St. Gaulus, fear of negative yields in USA is coming. Yes, guess what? Gold don't charge you no interest ever. It may not pay any, but it doesn't charge any. Uh, and if you come back and dig it up a thousand years later, the same amount's still there. The worms can't eat it. And the uh, central bankers can't deflate it away. Absolutely. Alt rally, that's slightly crypto. I want to keep it gold and precious metals. This is Market Sniper. Konnichiwa, Francis. Devolt Lawrence. Hey, good man. Um, Francisco Gomez, I appreciate you so much, good sir. Thank you. Um, very kind, very kind indeed. I'm a liker, says Golden Pool. You're one of the minority there that are liking and appreciating. Actually, we're not doing too bad. 38 does 98 of you. Can we get through 50% of likers? And then the rest can just be assumed benign disinterest. Yeah. Um, and what about uh, James Hibbert? He says, wait for pullback or still okay to go in. Accumulate monthly on almost a random basis that doesn't attempt to overtime. Trade with a method 
that does attempt to time very accurately with leverage. That's the simple thing. So don't be too smart when you're accumulating. Hello from Switzerland, Pierre Pichonaz. Hello, good day, lovely Swiss. Uh, a road alongside the rivers through um, Switzerland was amazing. Took my little daughter with me on a bike, not the hilly ones. So we did the rivers and the dales, beautiful scenery, almost like Walt Disney, ancient medieval towns with beautiful crystal clear rivers. It was fabulous. Um, so what are we talking about? Uh, um, uh, thanks, timeless being. Yep, she likes that. Me living here in Zimbabwe, you're changing lives. Yeah, good. Yeah, you. I've just actually on that point, I also had up and shared in my community, South Africa is burning. It's having a few Zimbabwe moments. For those of you that follow general news, you'll see stores gutted, buses burning, all sorts of nonsensical, riotous, uh, rambunctious uh, behavior. Cops getting beaten up by union members. Um, I mean, it's getting out of a little bit out of control. Uh, the czar is going to be wetting the bed. I actually did a silver versus rand. Oh, my God. First little um, setup that we will teach all our premium guys. And then into this mega overperformance in a new trend, um, moon spike. It can only be called epic. If you think silver's gone up fast against the dollar, have a look at a few of the other currencies. Try a few emergings. Try the South African rand right now. Oh, my God. And I hope not to go the full Zimbabwe route. I know how hard it is there. I've heard about the Tesla batteries and everything just to maintain the mobile network. Everybody's money is now on phones and relies on the telephone network in uh, Zimbabwe. Um, it's unbelievable. I'm looking at this ratio. It's moving while I'm watching it. It's sitting here and we're talking it. This is live breaking news of real impact. Forget the breaking news those fakers and other fuckers get up to. Uh, with their uh, absolute fuckery. This is legit breaking news. This is the moment you'll look back and say, that was the day that was. And actually, that's what we did in our newsletter. Yesterday was the 2nd of September. And I shared a thread that I made free view trade to the world. I said, here, have a trade. I don't always do that. Occasionally, I do it, and they don't always work. It was the 2nd of September, 2009. Ten years ago, exactly yesterday. And it was also a Monday. And I, I started the thread, 2nd of September will be the day. And I actually it's uh, planned it beforehand because I thought everyone's away in August. There's going to be a breakout on my little uh, squeezy, squeezy, Japanese specialist little trade with a super big target on it. I'm going to make an outrageous call and I'm going to say gold, then trading 962, uh, is going to trade 1300. In fact, 1270 something and beyond into 1300, I said. Uh, I was wrong. It did 1900. It overperformed chronically. I wasn't entirely wrong. I was probably right. And I did make reference to the potential of overperformance. And then everyone hated on that. They're saying, but, 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 it's a depression. It's, uh, they didn't say it's a depression. It's deflation was the word they said. It's deflation. Um, how can gold go up? There was even a, there was even a guy with a name Rothschild, in Rothschild. That was his avatar. It wasn't the real man. Uh, or I hope not anyway, because I was rude to him. Um, anyway, um, he said, how can it possibly go up? Da, 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 barbaric relic, all of that stuff. And of course, it then went from 962 and it took out. It was as it was triggering for me. But it wasn't a significant event for people that don't know what it is we do. And it ended up at 19. And then that level of overperformance became underperformance. They did the whole genie in the bottle. That was 2009. They did the QE thing. They, they, and they killed gold up to uh, that huge ramp. Now we are getting to the point where people are once again taking delivery. They want their metals in their own hands. And your, wow, as that's moving right now, your gold-silver ratio, 80.83. And that is still exceedingly high, down from 93.5. It's been an absolute throwdown. And this is a rising wedge. That is like that. Both lines are up. And you've been squeezing, squeezy Japanesey into this affinity box up top there. And now it's a throwdown. It's a real throwdown. And it's a throwdown with venom. Will there be a return move? And that will shake many people out that jump in leverage now chasing the good thing. So you've got to be smart. Do your monthly investments? Yes. Hold for the long term? Yes. Maybe there'll be a snapback rally because they're going to try calm the market. This is not what the Fed and the central banking cartel like. This is a big thumbs down. You guys are twats. You've broken the system. You're screwing us. 
you, we don't want your paper. We want physical old school barbarism. That's supposedly what you call it, barbaric relics. We prefer that to that useless fiat printed paper and the, all those digits that you control P into existence, borrow into existence and then start urshery extracting off me. That's how they keep you running on that treadmill. They put you on the wrong side of a compound interest uh, equation. You need to understand your debts, your credit cards, everything is how they keep you running on a treadmill. You switch out of their crap that they borrow into existence and charge you urshery on and you get into real money and you hold it and it's your insurance against everything blowing up. Let's have a look at a few more comments. We're getting up to 122. Hey, how are you? 123 and 58 likes. We almost got 50%. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a share. Remember something. I am using Bullion Vault. I buy utilizing Bullion Vault. It's the link down there. I've been doing it for 10 years. And you can do it too. And you can accumulate in Singapore, Zurich, whatever, et cetera. And you can do it at your own rate. You can buy $10 at a time and get 0 0.003 ounces. It's almost like cryptos. Get a couple of Satoshis of silver. Yeah. How about that? With your cigarette money. Give up smoking. It's a crap idea. You'll live longer, feel better, and you'll be richer. How about that? Um, and you put it in your silver. And if you can do a little more, you do a little more. And you go for the silver because the silver is going to be the high beta. But this is at an investment level because it will get emotional. Trading silver with leverage is going to get super emotional. Without a method, you're going to be whiplashed in and out and you'll burn all the investment good you're doing on your monthly. So if you want to learn how to do the trading bit right, you know what to do. There's a link in there. There's a free mini series. Go watch it. Decide if we're your guys. Anyway, back to the guys. Liked and subscribed. Thanks, Bob Wolf. I appreciate you. Um, St. Gaulus, ISM lowest and yields lowest since 2016. Economy is failing. And 2016 is a very good year that he brought up there. It's interesting. And I thank him for that. 2016 was a very significant year, gents. I did my recession probability of collapse and all of that. And I highlighted what a huge period that was, the end of 15 into 16. And I've released videos where I said the place is going soft and it's going to fall over. Other people said things too. We ended up having what ended up being the Shanghai Accord um, in the uh, China because those guys were doing buying for everyone. The agreements between our global cartel was you create some heat. The West is a spent force post subprime. And from 2011, as the gold started to fizzle and they were queuing in, into infinity and et cetera, et cetera, and Project Twist and all the clever little names they gave for different versions of creating money, which is really just the same tool, um, they put all of those into uh, play. And uh, what ended up happening, uh, the Chinese went and bought every commodity and kept oil price up, kept everything up, steel price, and started building cities into infinity. So you had one consumer, one consumer largely of commodities and everything else like this. And then they were exhausted. They were carrying the world, China, at that point. And everyone was talking, China, the new force, China, the new power. <laughs> Hit the wall. They put on, I think it was 26 uh, trillion yuan. I think it was the better part of two or three trillion dollars in debt from next to nothing. So they went from the, uh, being an outlier of frugality to becoming one of the worst indebted. In other words, we're now all globally synchronized for the all fall down. How convenient. You would think it was almost planned. Just throwing that out there. You'd think it's almost planned that we all have to be little transgender peeps with the HIV virus all together. Um, isn't it funny? Um, anyway, gold and silver doing extremely well with the dollar index still over 99.05. The dollar has been outlier strong. Have a look at those gold and silver charts versus the euro versus the GBP. Never mind these emergings where it's just like, whoa, never mind that. It's still, whoa, it's still like that. Do the sound with me. It's good for your breathing. Whoa. It's like, it's kind of like when you light a match with someone with an Afro standing nearby who's had a bit of the wrong kind of hairspray in. It just goes, boom. It's kind of like that. It's kind of whoosh. That's how it's doing. Um, and uh, that's what you're going to be facing. 
Um, no phone calls right now, please. Uh, the silver market is on and we're talking to our peeps. Anyway, so uh, I hope I got my buying ratio correct. Silver, 400 ounces, gold, one. Um, not for me, Dave. I think you are slightly mistaken on your mathematics. What do you think of Martin Armstrong's worth? Shift from public to private assets in sovereign debt crisis. So the public, when he says public, he means governmental. There is nothing governmental worth owning in my view at all. And I, the little I do know of him, I've literally zipped past a, um, a YouTube where he was talking a little slowly. I didn't have my go faster button. I'm like, I need it quick, get to the facts. Um, and but, but I'm sure he's very well, uh, he seems very legit. Um, so don't take that as a diss in any way. Um, and uh, I, I agree with that. Anything governmental. Government bonds, the zero rating of government bonds, terrible. Oh, my God, 80.89. We've gone from 81 to 80.89. What is silver now? I've got to get out of the, the ratio, guys. I've got to get out of the ratio because the ratio is only so interesting. We've got to see the actual price. Do we want USD or do we want GBP? Do we want Euro? Let's start with the dollar and the benchmark. Everybody knows 19.112. And this is a big double bottom with 14 basically being the two bum cheeks of this um, well-endowed uh, girl, the kind that Queen referred to riding bicycles in that same song, the fat bottom variety. But that uh, second bum cheek, slightly asymmetrical, um, yes, she's not a beauty queen in terms of the rear end, but in terms of being the bottom and the low, she's beautiful and she's moving. And it's 19.1 on the silver. And that's against the dollar, which has been strong. Let me tell you uh, where you could have had it against the beloved GBP, the, the imperialists of the last generation. Um, and whoop, the previous high of the 2016. That's what we were talking about. China in 2016, the previous high that led out of the lows of 2016 when we went bumps in GBP was exactly 15, uh, 16 uh, a pound, 16 pound. The pound is now at 1582, having run from 11. So the right bum cheek that never went as low as the left one in the pound terms, it did almost in the dollar, a little bit higher set. Um, at, is now actually going very, very parabolic, uh, harder, running harder than the 2016 move and looks likely to take out the 16. So this is exceedingly bullish for precious metals. And this is the beginning period. This is the beginning period. I want to say to you that during, um, if we take a look, uh, let's delete that line, annoying line jumped on there. Delete, uh, delete, delete. Uh, if we go into our uh, ramp and pump of the last bull market, which I expect to be well uh, surpassed by the debt crimes that have committed against you that are inert taxation, passing on tax onto you, doubling the money supply over five years means they've taken a 50% tax out of your buying power and the money that you saved and have in your pockets. And for those that are natural savers, they've been even greater ripped off by paying you 1% and now down to 0% and now down into negative percents for not being a spendthrift. Since when is economics all about perpetual growth in an economy? That's the only thing that's allowed. And also, that growth only comes from consumption. We measure it in consumption, GDP and its consumption. So everyone must splurge more and everyone, uh, that's how economies go. And it's only growth. We to, And to help it along, we deflate the currency. So what you used to buy for five pound, five dollars now costs you 10. Therefore, the growth number sounds like it's always higher. Even when they do these real, in real terms, they so understate the inflation that the compounding effect between the true inflation and what they tell you makes it sound like we're in this perpetual growth. Most years you're not growing. There's a fact. Most years you're not growing. And since this subprime debacle, all they've done is tax you with devaluing your money and you have not grown and gone backwards at two levels. A, you're not actually growing and B, the money you're measuring it in no longer is the same money you used to measure it in because there's way more of them about. It's like I sitting and handing out stamps and this is this is your new currency and I just keep printing them at an ever quicker weight. Yeah, yeah, money scramble. It's 
helicopter money, it's toilet paper. That's what they're doing, and that's what silver and gold is recognizing. That's what the silver ratio is recognizing, uh, gold and silver ratio, and it's reacting, and it's going to get disorderly, and people are going to ask for delivery, and there's going to be a lack thereof um, on silver, and actually, it's going to push the price of your phones up, your solar panels up, and many other things that silver's involved in. Um, uh, it's even involved in cars, uh, particularly if you're doing the new e-wave cars, uh, and a lot of things. Let's have a look at the comments. At what ratio would be good to swap silver for gold? Okie dokie. So you become a major silver investor when you're at the 90s. Now, the last ratio, as I was describing, went down to 32. Now, that was the subprime crash. So you got to sit here and say, did we fix last time or have we added even more shit in the meantime? In other words, are we in a better situation now or worse? And I'm my personal assessment is they're in a great hurry to bring their new green New Deal communism to bear upon you. UBI and all these corporates saying it's no longer about profits, it's about community contribution, all these big mega corps with the likes of Schmugel, Schmuckbucks and all the other uh, crowd that want to only hire transgender and do weird things all the time. Um, these people are part of your corporatocracy. This is part of your government cartel. They jump in between governments. This is your inert insider folk. And my take is they're coming for us. They're coming for the free thinking, the free speaking, the freedoms. They're coming for you and they're going to force you into their money system. And I think you should expect everything to be worse because they need a complete all fall down to say it's time for radical thoughts and new ideas leading us forward. And the economists and the Newsweek and Time magazine will say, forward thinking people and they'll get the likes of Elon Musk, Warren and da 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 yada and corporate titans that'll approve and say bravo bravo so that you follow along and approve too and go bravo bravo new brave new world brave new world epsilon deltas and actually you go everything you're suggesting I reject and I go old school and I undermine your crooked bent deceitful parasitic existence from continuing. And everything I do that undermines you is good work. And anyone who supports you is part of the problem and a goddamn enemy. And for that reason, I want physical silver and physical gold. And I will deal and trade with people that have that. And if we can have it secured, we can have our own version of e-golds. And if crypto can work in that sense, we'll do it. And if it means we do uh, Bitcoin and all of that, uh, we will get out of them. But do not have illusions about um, the crypto world and who controls what either. They will not ever let you have your own money. So buy precious metals. It's the closest thing to your own money. And I will take precious metals for programs. I will receive. I will take crypto. I will do those things for my services. Will you do it too for offering yours? That's what you do. And opt out of all of these failing fiats that they're going to absolutely pass taxation on you when they go into QE mega splurge to keep their sick failed banks with their massive holes. They don't save you. The IMF never comes to save a country. It comes to save the bankers that lent, that got that country in that position in the first place. It comes to save them first and stick up the deal. Ask Greece how the IMF and the EU uh, sorted out their country and their citizens versus the people that hold their debt. Who did they look after first and foremost? Ask if you as a citizen, whether those people work for you or for those bankers. Anyway, back. You're only analyst who dares to link finance and NWO. Yeah, of course it is. It's all part of the system. Thank you. If you don't have a conspiracy, conspiratorial bend, you're missing or you're putting this all down to incompetence and random events. And Epstein just happened to be suicided or disappeared into Tel Aviv or whatever happened to him. Oh, you know, all of this. They're laughing at you. They're mocking you, man. That's so blatant. It's, it's an absolute laugh. Who are these people that do these things? Who's Wiener, Epstein, Nowinski? What are we, you know, who, who are all these people? Well, they, who they work for? Who do they work for? 
You know, uh, you've got to ask yourself, do, how can you not ask questions and see that these ever random events are can't all be random? Um, you like the one-liners, Gareth Jones. Great, mate. Thank you. Um, RFDDGGG, what is an inflationary recession? Does this mean... So inflation and recession um, and deflation. So here's what's going to happen. At the moment, we're in a recession in a depression, in my terms. So we're in a, a smaller cycle of downturn in a major depressionary downturn. Um, so the splurge fake money is kind of, you know, the corpse that was virtually dead and then they came with the adrenaline syringes and you've been taking opium for 10 years, your eyeballs have largely dissolved, um, you barely got a heartbeat, it's just like tripping over like a like a car that's 19 years old, 1100, that's been thrashed up and down off on dirt roads, uh, and you're the equivalent of that corpse on the bed, uh, and you're now starting the heart line, heart keeps going into flat line, gets bumped back into life with the, you know, the electric jump start to cables, and they're going, and this is where we are effectively now. Um, and we're, we're in a downturn. And the problem is they want growth, but they keep raping the consumer. They destroy your buy power. It's a taxation. Quantitative easing is tax on you to bail the banks. They sell it as we're going to give money. None of that money ends up to you. No one loans that any different to you. Your credit card interest rate actually goes up. It's harder to get debt. The banks get refloated and the assets that are held by people who hold assets gets reinflated in diminished pounds, but diminished dollars in diminished cents. So it's not directly comparable to the value it was before, but you can have, it's now worth a million pounds, but the pound doesn't buy you a loaf of bread anymore. Um, where before you could get a coffee and a toasted sandwich with a pound. Now you need 20 pound to have a five pound coffee and a 13 pound sandwich and a tip for the waitress. You know, that's where you're going. Um, and, uh, you know, that example will become a 30 pound. Your, your coffee will be 10, going over 10, um, and your toasted sandwich made in a place to sit for 15 minutes before they can't start mopping under your feet and turning the table is, is uh, roughly 15 minutes. Um, and that's the new game. And that's what you'll be paying. And that's, that is what I call um, extraction by means of keeping you uh, supposedly earning more at the nominal level, but at the real level, you've never been poorer. How did we go from Mike Maloney's dad as a storeman, being the sole worker, paying off his house in whatever he did, I think it was 10 or 12 years, and having a, a two-car family and bringing up three or four kids to both, both people working, both people, woman working, oh, the brave new world, feminism, work. You can have a job too and be taxed into non-existence as well. You can run and work 14-hour days and chase traffic and all of that. Welcome. And the woman go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good luck, good luck. Go on, go on, chase it in. Now there's two of them doing that and they've got more debt than they've ever had before. They're toiling, toiling, scrimping to get by. And you're talking about a middle-ranking policeman and a nursing sister with 15 years. Um, and they can't get by. But a storeman could on his own with a five-person family. That is how they keep, that is how they steal from you. And that's where we are. And that's why we're going to be in this recession because that consumer is busted flush. And the consumers are busted flush, but they're keeping the mega corps that rely on those consumers like Amazon floating real high because the only difference they're floating real high is they've become investment, they've become investment in uh, items with ridiculous PEs because you're going to get no interest on your money in your bank and you're going to get negative interest on two thirds of the first world's debt. So buying Amazon at a ridiculous price that might even pay a small amount of earnings in the future, actually at least has a positive yield. Much better to have a piece of gold um, because eventually when the consumers grind absolutely to a halt and the job cuts come in and the fear and the deflation and everyone panics and the herd suddenly flips, which they will realize that we were in a recession when we said it. It started October. We called it in July. So the market's going to crash October. We're going to roll into a recession. The interest rates have been uh, flipped into uh, uh, 
What's at negative yield? That's both happened on just about every version of um, uh, inverted yield curves uh, right the way through the last, uh, the first six months of this year. And that's, that's where we're at. So if you want to understand, so deflation is going to suddenly be everybody dashes to cash, um, but the banks are going to be a problem. They're going to be bankrupt. Take your stuff out of. Get your stuff in money that is outside of the banking system. Keep minimal balances to get you through. Get it into silver and hard and just maintain. Live within your means so that you have a couple hundred bucks you're stacking every month, a couple of thousand, whatever your number is, 10, five, if you're a schoolboy who's got pocket money on here, right the way up. It doesn't matter what the amount is. It's the fact that you have a positive net left over at the end. Stick it in silver. Get, build a small amount of cash. Don't sit with 50 grand in different bank accounts. Those banks are all dollar hungry and they're going to go uh, into debt. Um, you've got 15.83 on your silver account. What are the other questions there? This fella bulldozed through the bullshit class. Yes, hopefully. Thanks, Gareth. Any thoughts on the price action in rhodium? Oh, that's a specialist market, that. I'll try to see if I can get a chart up. I love the women crave to be in the workforce because they've been conditioned to believe they aren't if, if worth anything if they don't. It's an absolute anomaly. Um, a mother and a wife is worth plenty and homemaking is very important. Um, but that's it. They want to get hold of your children. They want to be, the, be able to chief brainwashing. The brainwashing going on that they're trying to pull on my daughter in her school, she tells me about it. Why? Because she's trained by me to reject bullshit. She says, you won't believe what they do. We have a girl's week. We don't even have a feminist day. We have a girl's week. They wanted me to be part of it. I said, I don't want to be part of it. <laughs> My little daughter's throwing their, oh, the woman thing, right back in their faces. Don't patronize me, she says. Love it. That is alert and that is wake. Do you think the gold money is a good place to be backed in gold? They make it liquid so you can spend on a card. Those are novel ideas. Those are novel ideas like gold money. There's also the bits where you can snap it off, but they charge quite a premium for the gold just for breaking it, you know, carving it up so you can snap it off. So there are novel ideas. I would have little tidbits of that and then get the lowest cost that you can get, bars of silver. And if you don't have enough for a single bar and a kilo of silver is not that expensive, then you get coins. Coins have a slightly higher premium because they're milling them, they're packing them, they're racking them, they're stacking them, and they're uh, ripping you. So try get the most XAG for your buck, generally, and then have a few trifling little gimmicks that are kind of handy because they might come in quick and handy to just carry on you in a while and if everyone rushes. Good. Homeschooling his daughter, SJ. Congratulations to you. Mega commitment to make, and she'll be the better for it. The amount of programming that the teachers are throwing down on these kids. I mean, I saw a guy um, being crapped on in a Scottish uh, school because he said there was only two genders, and that's how the guy says, we don't have that that way. You know, you can't say that anymore. I'm like talking about a male teacher actually excluding the guy and he got excluded from school for insisting that there were two genders and he doesn't have to listen to this absolute absolute thought and mind control this is orwellian this is to be resisted this is to be resented you should bury these people you should shame them you should shame them into the absolute little control structure minions like little, these are the prisoners when you're in a prisoner of war camp where they select one or two turncoats amongst you to be tittletail rats amongst the prisoners. These are the tittletail prisoner rats that try, that earn one or two measly little privileges for being snitches and snoops in and around the citizenry and the sheeple. You should hold them in contempt. You should out them. You should name them for the rattish tendencies that they have. They're a scourge, a shame, and an embarrassment. And that's how I think about uh, these teachers. Um, the radical left, yes, indeed. My feelings exactly. Government indoctrination camps is a terrible place for a child. Good on you, Francis, for teaching your daughter not to listen. Yes, she won't have any of it. She tells me about the filter, but you can't you can't block everything. And the fact is, enough repetition and enough spanking on the face, some of it still gets in. You've got to keep weeding it out. So you've got to work on deep programming continually. You spend your whole time deprogramming, but thankfully she's developed a conscious meter that actually doesn't accept everything that's put in front of her. 
Stick on the channel, dudes. It's the best coach on YouTube. Thank you very much, Mark, for reminding them. Mark Pereira, we're up to 181 people live. Power to the people. We've got ourselves a centurion. I'm going to get my Roman hat with the, the toilet brush bristle on there. I'm going to push my chest out in my little plastic chute llama, and I'm going to wave my pocket knife as sword. We've got uh, one full centurion, and we're 80% of the way to the next. We're ready to storm Washington, London, and get that broom out and throw those gerrymandering little rodents, snooping, snitching, surveilling bastards out. We're, we're going to lead the revolution. We're going to start by buying up every ounce of silver, taking it out of the goddamn system as much much physical gold as we can get, taking it out of the system. That inverted pyramid they have, we're going to make it get so fat and so wide, it's standing on a little milli ounce and topples and topples hard. And I will trade with anyone on silver and gold, and you should too. And I will trade anyone for now on cryptos with a reservation. Don't think it's uh, don't think it's God's money, and you've been totally allowed to create it. And watch what's coming. Oh, Carney. Oh, what a you know. I've got this great idea. Mm, Ten years after Bitcoin's been around. Shut up, you little bitch. Shut your gob. Don't come and poach ideas and try elbow your way into this show. Piss right off. Don't be this innovator. Oh, I'm the new on-ramper. I'm, I'm retiring out now as a flipping mega millionaire. I've done the Zionist control structure gig, all my services of my pensions well looked after. I'm dark stated up to the eyeballs. Um, I'm a, I'm a on the sly pedophile. Oh, I've got this amazing crypto idea. Mate, you're going to get a bullet through the middle of your eyes and I won't feel sorry for it. You're an absolute scum bucket. Oh, I'm here to help and serve Britain through Brexit times. Who do you think you are coming up with crypto as your idea? Uh, oh, hegemony. Finish the dollar hegemony and introduce your own crypto. Piss off. We don't want anything from a central banking cartel. The problem is not the system. It's the people behind the goddamn system. The same people want to be behind the new system that are currently behind the existing system that is failing. We don't want you. There's nothing wrong with a gun. There's the twerp that uh, is owning the gun. You are the problem. You are weaponized against the civilians. And your silver and your gold is proving it. These guys, your system is toppling, and it's the day that we want to remember. XAG, XAU broke out of the rising wedge. Technically, you may get a return move, but that is going to go probably through 30 in my guess, probably lower than 2008. That means if gold doubles, triples, quadruples, and goes from 1,500 um, where it's been up to – Four and a half uh, thousand, let's say triples, or six thousand potentially. When you have this mega QE, global mega currency pump, um, and all of them are all falling down, and they're suddenly saying it's time for radical new solutions. What's for these headlines that are all going to come out? UBI, you deserve it. It's time for radical solutions. These are all taxes, scams, and ruses for bad money systems for them to stay on the other end of the stick so that they can keep beating you with it. They've got the baseball bat by the handle, and you're getting the fat end across your head. Stop it now. Take your gold out of the system. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it every month. Trade their shitty token paper generated. Crap, man. Where's that? Shit, I got lying around. What's this? I've got currency. I travel. I've got currency from all over the world. There you go. Here's 500,000 Reserve Bank Zimbabwe dollars. They don't have power anymore. Rand wants to go the same way. It's just a different monkey's face on every coin. I can't even remember which country this was. I think this was Ukraine, um, Ukraine Grievna. Um, I've got Turkish lira. I've got dirhams. I've got them. They're all just shitty quality pieces of paper that are backed by a deceiving, conniving, you are the mark, we are living off you, parasitic, extracting, governmental institution. Of course, as the man says, get everything out of public. Get everything out of public. What was his name again? What was his name again? He'll help me with the name again. It's in the comments somewhere. Of course, get it out. Get everything private. Get something that's usable and utilizable. Get gold for your money. Do security. Do security. Know your law. Get remote. Barter. Trade with your local farmer for goods. Get self-reliant. 
use your solar panels. They will come for your water. The Bilderberg Nestle punks telling you that what falls on your roof doesn't belong to you like they brought it down for you. Let me tell you, the arrogance of these people is immense. We need adverse feedback events that give these kind of people a real shock to the system. We're too docile, we're too well-behaved, and they're asserting themselves over us like you're a bunch of little kiddies who can be told what to do. They need pushback. They need pushback and adverse feedback events. The gold and silver markets are telling you their rigged game is failing. It's time you took your stuff out. If you sit in fear of pushing back, don't expect anyone to come and help when they're knocking on your door because fear is your biggest problem. You are either part of the solution or you're a docile, doped up, managed sheep that bleats and just smells the ass of the sheep in front of you while you get herded into the bloody abattoir. You got to decide, are you going to make a run for it? And are you going to help others make a run for it? And buying gold and silver is how you do it. We got to end these, we got to make this difficult for them. We need a pitchfork revolution and not these renter crowd, no breakfast, no Brexit. I want to stay in the EU. You got to love how I always say breakfast when I say Brexit. It's because it's such a dog's breakfast um, that I do it. And they all want to, I want to be subservient under my EU masters that I don't vote for so that they can pass laws over me and manage me and we can be a multinational global structure with a new layer of government that also needs to extract from me so I can be told what to do because it means it's easy to travel. Oh, they're going to stop you wanting to travel and spending your money there now that you're the biggest spender in their country than they spend in yours. No, no, you're just a racist. Come on, man, wake the bloody hell up. Get the hell out of these supernatural big governmental institutions. Break them up. I want freedom for Texas from America. I want freedom for Barcelona from Spain. Every place that wants to self-determine should be self-determined. We need to fracture this place up. They want to cluster us all into uh, these groups. Whatever they want, you want the opposite. Whatever Tony Blair says, you want the opposite and a silver bullet. That's how it goes. Thailand, John McVeigh, how are you? Good to be speaking to you. Hegelian dialectic, uh, indeed, uh, as above, so below. Um, problem, reaction, solution. Rob Alzi, the Bishop's 505, you need to do some research, bud. Reset happens every 10 years since the, since the 1800. Only a matter of time. Every 10 years? No, we're going to have the mother of super cycle resets where what's left after these guys have burnt the village down is going to be cinders. And then they're going to say, brave new world, come on on board. Yep, we've got 89 likes. I like that. We're almost at 200 people, 194. Well done for coming on. Bullion Bolt link below if you want to do it. Take your gold. You can go claim your bar. It's 100% uh, backed. And you can get your bar named with your name, your username, the minute you have enough for a bar and on silver, it's not a lot. It doesn't mean you have to be rich. The small bars, um, the minute you have enough, um, you can get a reserve, many of them. And then you can go and have them collected. There will be fees involved cheaper than the others like Mr. Shifty and Baloney. Um, Muhammad Park from the sunny South Africa. How are you, Muhammad? It's good to see you. Sunny South Africa. I hope it's sunny and not burning. Um, not burning because I hope to visit soon. Uh, what is it? Dollars getting too strong, which is a green light to print more worthless paper. So we can have a bit of a dollar milkshake effect, guys. If you have to hold fiat, hold dollar, but don't hold too much of it. Dump it into uh, currency. So the dollar is going to be the last one to fall against gold and silver, although it's already falling to a degree, but it's not nearly as extreme as the pound. If you have any of the other currencies, you should have long ago got a dollar denominated account for your everyday expenses if you can. Even when you're dealing with pounds, they will rape you every time you receive pounds and you get flipped by the bank. Um, but if you run a business, um, consider having an American-based account pricing in dollars um, and accumulate dollars and then keep just enough to run your business and hoard your gold and silver. Hoard your gold and silver. Um, I love Brexit in America. Yes, an American Brexit um, with pineapple juice, please. Um, what else have we got here in the comments? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Work as a medic at private hospitals, Francis. I met one of these big United Nations fellas as a patient. I asked some questions. I actually said our future is planned out, they hope. Yeah, they do a lot of planning, my friend. A lot of, uh, of pre-crime planning. You're already a criminal. I'm a criminal just for the things I say. I'm a, I'm a white nationalist hating 
uh, government uh, subversive, um, God knows what, uh, racists, anti-Semites, anti-whatever, fill in the message word. Um, the, des the Den Clinic. Francis, what happens to mortgages during a debt jubilee? Oh, no, 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 no. You see, you don't understand. The jubilee is for them, not for you. The jubilee is for them, not for you. You don't get free house. No, 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 no. I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. No, 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 no. Um, you see, if the bank is taken under ward of state, the, the state owns your house. So you become a pay to the state. And then you owe them taxes too. So you pay them tax and you pay them rent and they actually remind you that they own the home and that only once you've paid enough years do you get the home. And then they'll do whatever they feel they need to do. And they'll say, you're kind of white and kind of privileged and you live in a kind of nice house. We think you might have to pay more or you could move to the substandard sub-economic house where all the car thieves live, for example. What do you say? Um, that's what happens when state gets in control. Ask Ask USSR, the Bolshevism, corporatocracy, Bolshevik um, society we are having, the technologically orientated corporatocracy that is bringing Bolshevism to you. And this whole UBI thing exists for a reason. This whole Green New Deal exists for a reason, not because they're green. They want less people on the planet. They want to impose new taxes. They want to tax your every move till eventually you live in a corner um, and you can't move out of it. They want urbanized, everybody urbanized. They don't want you living in the big wide open with lots of space where you can capture rain, have real estate and grow food. They want you as a prisoner, man. They want you in a concrete box where you have to buy from their supply chain that they own and control that you think is free. They want you, they'll do controlled pricing because they care for you to keep prices reasonable. Meanwhile, they will be chucking half of it away to keep prices up half the time. This is the game. This is the game and that's where they're taking you. We are seeing gold and silver rise in price. Does this mean a stock market correction is right around the corner? So recessions. So what's it going to mean for the stock market? Well, you see, we live in a new, new, brave new world. We don't like pain. So bad news is good news because it means the central bank is going to drop rates even further, a.k.a. American Fed is going to drop rates, guys. American Fed is going to drop rates big time. America is not going to be the only currency with semi-serious rates forever. They are going to drop rates. They may still be one of the highest uh, of the first world, but they're going to drop rates. And that means uh, the equities continue to survive because they've all been taking loans to buy their own stock, to hit their option strategies so that uh, they get to become multimillionaires just for being management, not even starting the companies that they were running. Um, they basically hollow out the companies, load it up with debt so that the government owns it when they break the system. Once you load the own, you loan it, the, you've got to see what's happening. This is communism. Every corporate entity is hectically in debt um, to buy back its own stock so that greedy people can hollow it out, take out the money, be part of the elite and go to the Bilderberg before fulfilling on it. And then uh, the banking crash occurs. The banks are bust, get backed by states. The corporations are bust, get backed by the banks that are being held by the states. Government officials are on the board of banks. Uh, bank officials are on the board of companies they lend to. And you have zombie state like uh, Japan, only far worse because the Japanese actually saved and didn't require income from other people. So they were uh, an all-contained loop. They didn't need it. I know, John, you're right on, man, um, says Gareth. St. Gaulis, back in the USSR soon. You don't know how lucky you are. Back in the US, back in the USSR. Francis is talking about Agenda 2030. Research it. Everyone to live in tiny apartments to save the planet. Yep, you'll live in ja the Japanese great test zone. You'll actually have a pod to sleep in, and everything else will be communal. You know, you, you're going to have an, you're going to need enough space in your pod just to knock off a wank um, so that you don't have to do that in public. Um, and other than that, everything will be a communal space. Um, you know, they might hot desk toilets. Uh, you might have three potties at el different elevations in the same cubicle. Um, who knows? I'm being silly. I'm being stupid. But, you know, density, they want density. But you don't get to sleep in the big lie, lie, uh, wide open. Um, what else is going on? John McVeigh, the SNP wants to be in the, the, the EU. Ha, ha, ha. The SNP, Scottish National Party, 
that wants to break away from England because there's nothing better than just escaping your worst enemy, the English in their mind, um, wants to swap one slave master who's actually become quite benign and thrown quite a bit their way, pays more in to their NHS system per head of populace, um, pays more into their university uh, than the English populace and actually has gone beyond the other extreme to self-flagellating itself to give you more and you're going to go to a sicker, bigger boss and hold your hands out with all the Eastern European nations as Scotland, you're going to be told to go right to the back of the queue and they don't necessarily want you because Spain says they don't want to hear anything about defragmentation because the Catalans want to go their own way and they're not too sympathetic towards that. So good luck, Scotland. Scotland wants to learn the Irish lesson. Go ahead, mate. You'll be a useful stick to beat Britain with for a while until you fall on your face and you think in Belgium, Brussels, they're going to be thinking of you and sending little brown envelopes of cash to keep you floating when this uh, ship starts to think uh, properly uh, sink. It's all going to be about the continent, mate. You're going to be a peripheral. You're going to be a peripheral little wart on a massive landmass for which they will have scant understanding of your culture and for which the relationship will turn sour in time. Watch out, Ireland. It's coming, mate. It's coming. And I love the Irish and they're a great nation, but don't even think about thinking. When the chips are down, you're going to be better looked after. I know the history of Ireland and Britain. I can understand uh, wanting to go your own way, etc., etc. But unfortunately, it can be out of the frying pan into the fire. Same for Scotland. Lebanon's peg to US dollar under pressure. Man, the Saudi peg. Now, if you've ever want to know about how People think I'm crazy when I say Saudi is part of Israel and uh, uh, the USA um, and that they cooperate. I mean, the, the, you know, the passports, the hijackers, all Saudi. Uh, how, how did you get all these people? Well, they've totally penetrated. They're totally cooperating. They're part of the same agenda. And, of course, they've also pegged the currency. So they've agreed the dollar. And guess what? There's never a rampage on a medieval monarchy's currency. You notice that. A medieval monarchy like Saudi Arabia, where you chop your enemies up in other nation states' embassies after you've had a little phone call of, I got you, I want to hear you scream. Um, flipping barbaric savage, barbaric savages of epic proportions. Um, and they never have a currency run. You know, they're just a big oil well and they never have a currency run. They're chopping women's heads off. They, they think they're heroes and they're forward looking because they're letting them drive for the first time. The feminist movement's got nothing to say about Saudi. Isn't it funny? We're very selective. Sweden and white European, you know, you guys, you, it's time the, you gave women a fair crack. And I'm going, really? You're starting with us? We, we're the bad guys? This is where you start. You're not starting where the rot is, perhaps, where a teenager gets raped, pregnant, and is stoned for uh, not being married and having sex. Wow, interesting, interesting. I prefer my daughter to be here than there. If you're, if, it, if you're asking me, you know, if I'm starting this revolution. No, 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 no. Saudi untouchable peg, never been tested. And now we have Lebanon um, as well, uh, peg to the dollar. It's going to get icky. It's going to get icky. Um, those that are running a two-currency strategy where they have dollar as dominant and they then have a local currency, you know, you think Costa Rica and some of these places, it's going to get really, really tough. Um, and I think there will be a lot of by-the-by weak national geographic currencies that have all been economic hitmanned up on the good old USA debt bombs that they are going to be letting go. And that's what started this discussion, gold and the economic hitman and getting everybody uh, properly up on debt, high on the hog, so that they can take you down, take you down. 205 people on at the moment, 104 likes. That's flipping epic. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for sharing. And remember, get your gold, get your silver. I don't mind if you don't use my link. Go use someone else's. It's more important than you just do it. I don't mind. I mean, I think they'll throw a fraction of a gold out my way. And I thank you if you think it's worth it. I'm telling you that I use them. That's the crowd I use. I didn't use them because they have an affiliate link. Um, I've got to feel comfy. They have Singapore as a vaulting area, as well as Switzerland, um, which would be the two I'd take most seriously. I prefer the East. Uh, I think some of, uh, Singapore wants to distance itself from China, 
Japan and also from the EE Europe. Um, and I think they're pretty serious about the financial, but I might be wrong. Switzerland might just be fine. Um, and you can accumulate your silver there. How do you see Hong Kong, man? Oh my God. So there's, this is all about gold and silver, but let me tell you the other subplot. China devaluation, Hong Kong dollar major meltdown and probably cease to exist as a currency in the next uh, few years as part and parcel of the things that are starting now. Korean one moon. Korean one moon, um, still accumulating my Korean one uh, trades. Premium guys are updated on it regularly. I even show, sharing my platform pictures straight out of it. This is where my buy orders are. Boom, boom, boom. They can see it. I've showed pictures of that. It's in a premium area. Love them all. Some of them are on here right now. Um, my best, best boys. We talk every day. I give them my uh, feelings for the day. I'm not always right. We kind of thought Bitcoin was going to slip a little longer and a little deeper. We weren't accurate. It broke down. It did break down. And we got out quick. And we actually made, believe it or not, a little bit of money. We weren't in it when it pumped. Um, and this is silver that's brought it back alive again. We've got a bit of a descending triangle on Bitcoin. It's not the most uh, safest continuation pattern for upside. I'm just saying we'll see. I'm looking at the gold and silver descending triangle on its high points. So we'll see how high it goes, how strong it goes for those that are crypto interested. We'll see how high it goes. I'm look, I would look for it to go well over 11K to start to feel more confident and then a very gradual down leg, not too violent. If we get that, then I'm trading it long with leverage and I'm happy to make money on the long side. I just don't want people to always only see that you can only go long. And I don't want them to think every time just because we have bulls and bears that it's the same chart every time. You just pump past the higher high. There's never a continuation pattern on a big time frame. This is always the first time and it rhymes. It doesn't exactly repeat. So those are my thoughts on Bitcoin. Emerging countries with USD debt, lambs to the slaughter. Correct, Bernard. Samuel Nwabi, buy silver and gold. Got it, boss. Yes, Samuel, do it, bud. Um, MXN USD will be in trouble. Yes, try USD will be in trouble. Ruble to a degree, a lot of gold there. And obviously, they sorted their debt issues out. Um, energies, I'm seeing weakness. Cars, I'm seeing weakness. I've spoken of these before. Uh, subprime in the States. Big car buyers. Do your banks still sell gold ounces? We can get them in Switzerland. Don't need Peter Schiff. Good. Uh, buy them. Buy them and take them away from the bank. What you don't do is buy precious metals and leave it in the custody of either a vaulting service or a bank. Don't do that, please. Because they'll come with the clipboards and they say, we acknowledge we are currently have under following the statute law, clause uh, subsector, da, 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 that we have currently this possession that we believe is yours. Um, and we're holding it as part of the state of national emergency that that is being employed since the financial resets and all the happenings. As you can understand, these were very big events. A government in, uh, is redesigning a financial uh, mechanism and system, and they'll be creating a world currency unit uh, that may involve certain amount of precious metals. You would be compensated adequately in the unlikely event that these will need to be seized. Six months are now going to go past. You're not going to hear from me. I ain't going to write. You've got a piece of paper that just says we currently hold your metal. And then later on, there'll be a news report that they're uh, looking into certain things and that it no longer belongs to you but you'll be sent xyz shitcoin um xyz shitcoin that the government's just created as a, a crypto token or fiat paper or you can have some food stamps down at your local marks and spencers uh, da, 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 da. don't do it don't let them catch you possession is nine tenths of the law i think i got it right this time i get my fingers mixed up i say three and then i do this uh, nine tenths of the law that means you're 90% there if you own it. It's for them to come and get it off you and to prove that their actions are legal and not extortion, racketeering, bullying, or uh, armed assault, trespassing, or anything else, and that you are not fully entitled to own it in the first instance and entitled to maintain it. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. He repeats it again. In longing, XAG, using Bitcoin, PNL. PNL is in Bitcoin, says AES. Interesting. How to be best? Be sure that you're buying the real McCoy, says Julio. Yes, I agree. Excellent content. Love your energy. Loving this reset unfolding. Yes, it's happening. Know thyself. Good name, as I've said before. I think we've had uh, you visited many times. Vladimir. Vladimir. Contour. 
Contour, is it with an L? What peak gold price do you expect? I feel I am too late as I was eyeing gold at 1280. Too late, she cried, never. The market loves you. It always gives you a second chance. This is a bigger move than you expect. Zero cost averaging every month by buying in an investment and you will catch a three year probably, maybe five year, depending when the whole ashes are still simmering and over. You will be buying throughout the fire, throughout the great fire, and it could get volatile. When they do the fear collapse, oh, is it war? Is it complete depression? Oh, my God, the banks are broken. No, you can't draw more than 50 peanuts out of your bank account in whatever currency peanuts are. Um, and they do that whole 2007 stroke eight Lehman Brothers wet the bed thing. Everything goes down because everyone panics and just wants to have money, the means of exchange for the here and now. So having some cash is good. Having some cash notes is good. Having it out of the bank where you don't get shit interest and that they can just cancel it and give you a haircut is even better. And you know what? Only such a small percentage of the global money supply is actual physical notes. So if you are holding a small amount in your bank or a slightly bigger amount in your bank, get notes. Encourage you to hold notes for the fear period. So there's going to be a couple of things that go. It's like stepping stones. The minute you stand on them, they start sinking. If this is how it's going to go down. You're going to have to hop from the right stepping stone in the right order to play this game. This is how it will go down. It's a good question to our Ruski. Too Russian, too strong, uh, or too Ukrainian, or too one of them. Um, but, yes, so uh, it's a very good question. So you need to get your timing right. So get into some cash. Get into cash. Rather be long cash than long bank account money. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Apply the law of hunt. Possession. In my grubby little mitts, fiat paper of nothingness is greater than fiat paper of nothingness in an institution of nothingness. There's one extra layer of nothingness to unpeel there. So have your fiat paper of nothingness worth in your own grubby little mitts so that you can make nothingness type transactions when they throw the ATM limits on. Go look at what happened in Ukraine, if uh, Vladimir, um, when they, they dropped, when they had their drama and their little uh, flip, George Soros flip. Um, now, now a member state of the EU, I understand how interesting. They've always spoken Russian. Anyway, so um, the whole point is, you can't draw money uh, more than $50 or $100 a day. Simple. So they're holding your money. They're locking your money. So they're keeping the banks solvent on your deposits and denying you access to something that's meant to be yours that they're the caretaker of. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Get your cash. Get your gold. Own it. Hold it. These are not times to be in public institutions, as the man said, Mr. Armstrong from one of our posters here in the, con uh, in the comments, and he's absolutely accurate. It's a fair statement to make, and I concur and agree and support. That is what you need to do. And you tell me that's not important advice alone. You tell me that's on its own, it's not important advice. Wait till grid down, internet down, mobile phone down, emergency breaking news, only $100 a month, da 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 Keep going to work, keep going, and we'll get through this. Bah, 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 good luck, good luck. Um, live on flipping pot noodles and uh, whatever hot water you can boil. Don't forget to pay your water, electricity, and all your taxes, though, um, because that's never negotiable. And the debt jubilee is never about your debt. It's only about institutions' debt. That's how it rolls. You are the mark. You are the sheep. You will never get a free loss. Forget thinking you're going to get. Even if they give you UBI, it's not free. They're taxing everybody to give everybody back money. Only they're charging a whole bunch of people to do it and giving jobs to people. It's like Gordon Brown's tax credits. They collected more tax in, hired a whole bunch of people that all voted Labour to get them uh, to look after the tax credit system, cocked it up, overpaid, lost loads of money, gave it to the people that were deserving. It was income qualified, so it only went to the poor. They went and spent it on gambling, punting on horses um, and everything, the blokes. Uh, and the women bought fags and got a tattoo on their ass that said, bang me harder here. And that's what happened. Um, and uh, that's what that's what your tax credits did. And of the, of the tax credits of $10 that they got in, they dished out $3 and spent $7 in the machine processing, paying out the three. 
So you pay $10 of tax for them to create a state-based organization that takes $7 in salaries running offices administration that they utterly, totally freaking cock up and give way too much and causes loss when they give three out of what they take. That is government as an efficiency, synonymous government as an efficiency concept. We do everything atrociously and it costs you extortionate amounts and the net amount that flows from that which we extract is minimal. It is there to provide us with work, jobs and further taxation on you. And it was always about them, you being the mark and never about giving you value. That is government right freaking there. So he ranteth on with a toss of his head, fists on his hips and swaggering. Yes. What would you suggest for me? when pension money is locked in until I'm a bit older. Self-invested personal pension. Go release your pension. Pensions. Great question. Who is that? Megazab. Megazab 13. Okay. Great question. Pensions. Your pensions, guys. Your pensions are stuffed. Stuffed with the most useless most toxic crap that is in existence. Pension fund managers, you should just ch change their title to the absolute mules of the industry who are out and out there to stuff, to stuff the people they provide for. Window shopping things where they boast about performance, the mutual funds and all of that, and they do their advertising schemes that go in there. All the shit share purchase purchases, General Electric, Enron before it went bust, government bonds to infinity.com. Oh, we're playing it safe. We're buying secure assets backed by government, um, yielding 0.001, and this one is so safe, we're actually paying to own it. Um, and this is in your pension fund because we respect you and we feel, no, 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 we are a cash providing dumb money mark, AIG, to the investment banks. That's what we are as pension funds. So what do you do? You've got a pension with standard life, old mutual in South Africa, could be Britannica in the UK, could be with one of the big names. I don't know who the big life insurance uh, players are actually in the States, particularly Prudential, Prudential, where we exercise great prudence. We take our job of looking after your money so seriously. No, they don't. They provide dumb money that no one gets to see the real value of. They're the most opaque instruments. You do a cash value after two years of owning it. They're still paying off the broker. You've got, you've got about a fraction of what you paid in. Never mind uh, growth. So you get a self-invested pension. You get a gold fund, ideally not an ETF, a physical fund. Ideally not an ETF, a physical fund. And you own it. Or you purchase mining shares. They will lag. So here's how the metal bull goes. First gold goes, it's gone first. Then silver follows and outshines. It's, it's following and now it's outshining. It's front running. Platinum will go. Platinum was very, very low and it is going to start going. Um, I've even got a palladium which mooned uh, already from a very high base. I've got a palladium trade pending an order. I'm looking for a little bit of a dip back. Um, and then I will be taking that as a trade. I'm personally investing in silver. So you get into those assets and you get a self-invested personal pension where you are the arbitrator. You can manage your own money. You can get a simple list of the three best bullion stocks and you can buy them and you will ride the three-year, um, possibly five-year, possibly, I don't know. You know how long the tail end of this depression from 07, 08 ran we still went into a spill in 16, the back, back end of 15, 16, that we were on our knees, the West, and China then was spilt over. That's how it goes. So get your self-invested personal pension. Same with a 401ks, is it, for the US guys? Pension funds are stuffed with all the most toxic assets. Anyone, this is such an important point, 
anyone with a, 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 an opaque pension, oh, I've got the smoothed with profits fund at um, Sunlum, Old Mutual, um, Britannia, Southern Life, any of these, uh, Norwich uh, Union, um, any of these crowds, get out of that, get, the, get your money, get it injected into a self-invested pension, load up on bullion stocks. They've lagged. So the other thing that we were talking about before the pension came up and before the, the question from Vladimir came up is this is not even the end of the beginning in precious metals. Think of it. If I was starting to say if we went 4x up on gold, if you went 3x up on gold, 4.5 or 6,000, and at the same time, we only had a subprime re-rating level on the XAG to um, gold index, the XAU, XAG, uh, gold, silver ratio. If we only drop to 30, which is a subprime event of scale, in other words, um, it's going to be different. It's going to be government debt. It's going to be everything in the pot, boys. Um, if we only went to 30, you will get from 93, you'll get a three times whatever gold does. I'm asking, do you think it's only going to be 2008 big? This is a reset to end this system that is broken. You don't fix this mess. This is like clear the decks. You knock the house down, you start again. It is trashed. This is a Detroit flipping opium den. Uh, everything is rotting. Even bricks are rotting. Um, you don't paint over the cracks. You knock it down, you start again on that plot of land. That's what I personally feel. Um, but let's say you go to 30. That means you get a 3x on whatever gold does. Gold goes $1,500 to four and a half. That's three times. That means you go nine on um, the uh, difference uh, that it is now today. It's just run 19. Do you want to see $190, $200 silver? You think it won't happen? I'm telling you. At $4, no one saw $50 happening. Give a bit of time. You don't know how much garbage and fiat creation these guys have got up to. That's your multiple. That's your multiple right there. If it goes to 30, if it goes to 15 from 90, you get a 2x on the 9. It gets twice as good as what I've just calculated. So think about that. If it goes beyond that, and remember, markets overshoot. When you get the overshot on the bullish side, running 1927, it was a very big move. We were trading $200. A decade later, or seven years later, we did 1927. So, you know, that was quite a big push. And that was part of the, the whole QE experiment. Um, and the beginning of that, and boys are going to come back in, they're going to give it new names, they're going to rebrand it, and UBI is QE, it's all QE, it's all control P, it's different names for control P, twist, buying one end of the curve, you've got yield inversion, you've got everything showing you, and, and, I, and the yield inversions continue to get worse and deeper, by the way, and you only get the, the confirmation of the recession once you, you're already back out of it, so we're already there. I don't think one to one. I don't think you'll ever get an ounce of gold for an ounce of silver. But overshoot could mean five, could mean 10, could mean 15, could mean 25. Um, you could go beyond 30. Um, but if you have an absolute shortage, there's less of it above ground and it's used, it's needed. Gold is bullion and storage and hedge and jewelry. Jewelry, we ne never use the amount that we mine. It's also silver mines. There's very few pure silvers. It's just so cheap. It's just not economic to mine. They pull it out when they're pulling other things out. They pull it out when they're pulling out copper. They pull it out when they're pulling out gold. Oh, here's a bit of that other product that lies around as well down here. Oh, well, while not seeing as we've already paid to dig this hole and we already crushed the rock, and we've already taken what we want, we may as well just put this bit in there and refine it too. So in other words, it's an add-in. It's an add-in. If, if you have to mine for silver, it's just sub-economic. It's completely sub-economic. There's not a realistic price. It's not a realistic price for silver. $18. What do you buy with $18?
a Big Mac and chips and a bottomless Coke and throw up in the bin afterwards? It's not, it's not economic. It's not economic. Big money buys gold, not silver. That's what the yeah, – well, they don't, have, they don't want the storage headache, and they've, they've got tons of paper. So that's why gold goes first, because the insiders are buying. But when the others realize that the insiders are buying and they can't afford the gold, buy a bit of gold. It's always good. Hey, you want to cross borders, don't, don't have 10 kilos of silver. But if you've got a place that's safe and you've got family and people you trust and things like that, one's going to go up more than the other. So you need a mix. You do need a mix. I would say most of mine will be growth orientated, but some will be travel and portability orientated. Pull back silver this week. I think you could. It's fallen so hard and so fast. It's so disorderly. They're going to want to try a stamp on it. So I think um, we've also just come. So GBP, we've just come up to this just under the 16 pound level. There's real technical resistance. So you'll have a, a right shoulder pullback and everyone will go, ah, what was all that excitement about? Instead of seeing it as the opportunity to load up and that we're at the beginning of a mega bull, you will always feel the current momentum. And then when it pulls back even quite a bit and it drops back from 15.8 against the pound um, down to 15 and you can buy it at 14.99, you say, ah, and there's no rush. There is a rush. It's happening. We're failing. This is the reset. You are in a reset. It's not coming. It's happening. This is it. This is part of it. This is part of it. This is a foreplay. You know, this is this is the foreplay. Lehman's is the main event. You know, by that time, you're already having your orgasm. You know, this is already the foreplay. <laughs> you know, this is it. This is reset. We you know what? We weren't joking when we told you. Wake up. McFly. Wake up. It's happening. It's going down. This is it right now. This is part of it. This is part of it. It's been the setup has been happening and this is rolling into it. It's accelerating. Don't wait. Don't wait. Start accumulating. That's what you've got to do. Yeah, 120 likes against 212 attending. Thank you. I want to give you all a thumb up. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, and you want to go and you want to make sure you take the appropriate action for your families because self-directed, smart, awake people do better, smarter things for their own self-determination and financial freedom than the parasitic state that is designed to set you up as their mark takes your pensions to buy their toxic debt so they can spend ineffectively, badly on projects that undermine you, that control you, that surveillance you, and that tax you. And you want to leave your fate of a financial nature in those people's hands, then it's like taking your newborn babies to the pedophile factory to do babysitting. That is it. I'm sorry. There's no other analogy for it. Um, here we go. Uh, username. It's been reset for 20 years now. It has and it is. And it's part of a process. It's not like one moment. Someone doesn't come and switch the light on and go, that's it, boys. It's over now and back on. It's not. That's how things happen. It's not a straw that breaks the camel back. It's the whole camel getting overloaded in the first place, piece by piece. That's the beginning of the reset. And it is. it does roll. And you watch him wincing and straining, climbing the hill and getting older, tireder, sicker, hungrier, and more weight loaded on his back. That's all the reset. And then it's not the moment that his back actually snaps and he lies in a heap. That's the end. That's the game over. That's the finish. You've got to do your prep before. This is the reset, and it's happening right now. And that camel is wheezing and has slumped to his knees. The silver and gold market has already told you. He's had his first heart seizure, and you want to wait and delay. And you say, well, it's been reset for 20 years. Well, good luck. Then it's never coming. Carry on. Carry on. I don't ever want to disturb someone when he's found a comfortable place with it for his head somewhere in the ground. Um, please stay there and don't worry. If you can't see it, they won't see your ass sticking up out in the air with your head in the ground. No one's going to be tempted to give a running boot to the bollocks that are swinging um, and can't be protected and wouldn't even know who hit them. That's all I can say. No turning back. This is your reset. I hope it is a reset, Francis. Want to see the fang burn. Uh, yeah, they'll do a fake breakup, I think. They're going to say, we've decided, you know, we want liberty. Um, we're going to break these up. like Kind of like they broke Rockefeller's oil up and he just continued to control different brands um, from a darker step and act behind people and have more puppets 
largely engineering the environment. There's very few, few things that are actually free market. You think capitalism has failed. Capitalism hasn't failed. Competition is sin to Rockefeller. That's why he runs the whole oil industry in his clan and his banker friends. Competition is sin. The Fed is already back purchasing bonds again. They have purchased 14 billion over the last two weeks. Why are they so worried? They were tightening rates just a while ago. <laughs> while we were saying, don't do it, don't do it. You're going to stop and have to do a U-turn. But Powell knows more than us. A, a, a twit in his black t-shirt in a YouTube in the middle of an island somewhere can call it better than him. What does that say you about them? It's intent. You can call it, you can call it incompetence. It's intent. It's part of the plan. It's part of the plan. Sorry, username got your comment out of context. I might have. Sorry, I apologize. I don't call anyone um, a kangaroo with his head in the ground. I have just sounded like um, it's been coming for 20 years. I might have got it wrong. I apologize. Market will want to panic after three more Fed rates down to one, then inversion again, and then the majority will see it. If they can't see it now, I don't know if they'll ever see it. Wait till, wait till their bank's closed and they can't buy food. That's when they'll see it. Um, why has rhodium gone so high? Are there other metals that are good? I never looked into rhodium. Okay, it's a bit eccentric. Most of us don't know much about rhodium. Physical rhodium ETC. Yep, it's absolutely throwing it up. It's a classic rounded bottom. I don't even know if I can get a spread bet on rhodium. Uh, you can't see my screen, so I'll have a little look on um, CMC. By the way, my Fresnillo miners have been doing beautifully. They've been throwing money at me. So the miners are starting to respond. Rhodium. No, this one is not interested in offering a market on it. And I'm pretty sure my spelling is good. Yeah, no, JP Morgan, Claverhouse, Rowan Clinkham. No, there's no rhodium. So if you can't trade it, you know, it's 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 a tough ask. Um, it's it's a tough ask. I think, is it rare earth mineral? I'm not sure even myself um, about it, but I can tell you the chart has made a beautiful rounded bottom and now it's going absolutely up. But, you know, I don't chase. I can't chase a spike like that if I don't know the fundamentals. I know precious metals, how long it's been down at seven, uh, eight years. So I know that. Um, so that's pretty e extreme. Um, 214 people and 138 likes. I love it. Thank you very much. Thumbs up to you all. Um, let's have a look at the comments. Please, where do you see Euro USD? So we're going to get, in my opinion, of the fiats, a certain degree of dollar milkshake, although I prefer the yen even further. So here's the two. We started to talk about, I mentioned the Korean one. That's my halvening on an FX trade plus. Plus, I mean, I truly mean that. I mean, I mean we make bold calls here. 45% uh, probably... Uh, up to 60% plus. I could see it doing 2, 1, 2, 5, and even maybe touching 3 on a super spike. But then I'll, I'll cut and run because it'll be it'll be one of those things. You've got to move really quick. Otherwise, you're the guy, you know, who's still holding Bitcoin at 20,000 and it's already back down at 14. Um, so you're going to, it's going to be one of those kind of trades, which I'll be quite, once it starts mooning, I'll be quite active and managing quite closely. So the Euro USD has actually been in a downward swinging um, falling wedge. Uh, I was looking at it just recently and it, it kind of put a nose out the bottom of the falling wedge. I might share a chart of this. Um, it's not particularly HVF bespoke. Um, there is also a little bit of a head and shoulder that we kind of called um, and is still valid and it looks for 106 and 107 which would bring it back into the range um, when it was in trouble, 15, 16, and 17, before it had its 17 to 18 run. But Europe is huge trouble. Here, and Soros has got it with this immigration uh, agenda by the throat. You don't get into politics unless you're getting his money. 
Um, they've shown that this poor autistic little girl, what's her name? Help me again. I'm terrible with names. The with the Scandinavian Swedish name is uh, got a little minder that is open society funded and employed and is always with her. Um, help me, Greta. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Greta, I think it's Thunberg, uh, T H U N B E R G. Uh, Grunberg says Dan. Um, there you go. Trust me to get a few of the details wrong. Uh, I remember names like how I type. They just come out all wrong. But uh, she's totally paid for being flown around, doing all these uh, green. So the green agenda you need to see as communism. It's a, there is no real commitment to greenery. Why are they doing fracking? Why are they doing um, the tar sands in Canada? This is all the oil industry. They've all been given licenses. It's all by politics and they're all destroying nature and they're all, um, you know, they're throwing it down because they need to provide the extra, they need to provide a glut of oil to keep the oil price low and oil is going to dip lower in this next recession again and I see sub 30. So something beginning with a 20. So you can have that prediction for free um, as well before we eventually get a hyperinflationary where everything goes up. Um, and that's that's what I see in a money splurge meltdown. Green bullshit, Obama, Obama, Sin Laden, house on the water. Yep. Where do you think the Indian market will be five years from now? So with India, it's a growth nation. So the demographic growth nations post all of the drama playing out, post the drama playing out, folks. Once it's all done and gone and we have some sort of new post Bretton Woods environment, the demographics will drive the growth nations. India is well set for demographics. Indonesia is well set for demographics. So that it's a youthful population full of energy work that can be taxed and gang raped all the way uh, to the, the office and back and charged for everything and have their wives sent to work and program their babies. Um, and that whole thing, um, is going to got to play out and they'll be growth nations. So that little circle that sort of encapsulates China, Indonesia and in and kind of parts of India um, out there, which is such a um, so India is actually will do OK, but their currency is in huge trouble now. Of course, they've got the Kashmir story as well now and all sorts of other elements. But the big gift is the big curse. You know, you want to curse colonialism, but now you speak English in India. And that's one of the massive gifts. They were smart, well, they were prepared to work hard. It's the corruption is the big thing. The theft, it's epic. Um, but, you know, Africa has that. Many places have it. But I think the demographics will win out. So that, Josh Matthews, is my take on. So it will be quite positive. Nothing's going to be positive during reset. doesn't matter what you do. It's kind of like, you know, drawing the most beautiful water painting on the Titanic. It doesn't matter what beautiful work you get. If you're going to end up swimming in the drink, doesn't matter how good your painting was. It's a splurge. By the time you get lifted onto the lifeboats, assuming you survive the three-degree uh, ocean water uh, for 45 minutes while you wait for a limited number of lifeboats to load you up. So, I mean, in terms of that, um, uh, you get through that phase. Then we can start talking once you're back on dry land and re-manifesting. My gold silver miners are killing it, says Carl Jung. Very good. Glad for you. Ego, gold, GPL, KGC, PAAS. Yes, Pan American. That's right. Uh, like that one. What do you think of Prime Minister Modi? His control structure, they all are. Bill Gates, big time in on him. That, that whole uh, voiding of cash, that's, that's, to, that's to kill the black economy where they aren't getting their cut of your transaction and energy. They want to suck your energy. You can't do a deal with your mate and pay him and he pays you and you do the service or whatever the case may be. They want the notes out the system, so nothing more than petty cash. It's a complete bringing India into the grid game. Um, that's what they want. They want electronic everything, tracking everything, surveillance everything. That's their game. That's how they manage you, tag you and everything, tag you on what you spend, tag you on everything. Hi from New Jersey, Lufthansa, a German from New Jersey, perhaps, who likes planes. Um, nice to see you. The money that went into cryptos will soon go to metals. Sebastian Saldraga, where should I store it? I'm not sure. I'm assuming PMs that you're talking about, Sebastian. Um, so storage, storage, storage. Uh, don't tell me. 
<laughs> and don't tell too many other people and trusted people and out of the out of the system. So you can answer that. Be creative. Uh, a hole in the ground is good um, with a whole bunch of plates of steel and tin foils in case people have metal detectors and deep. Or if you're not that worried, you know, in your in your roof, in the ease, in your toilet cistern, in your um, you know under brick drive that you have that you've left a hollow you've got a vent and you make a little whatever uh, be creative um uh I, by the time they come with metal detectors and are scanning your house then then you need to start living in a different house uh i have fiat in bangkok enough space for you a flat in bangkok he says yeah good uh, when the dollar falls how long before liquidity locks up and the supply chain uh falls so um, I think the dollar will be the last to fall. In fact, I think the dollar will have a, a super spike um, as people rush to get dollars to pay off debts and that you'll go from a glut of dollars that are penetrated globally to the actual amount of debt that's been created being even more vast. And because there's interest on those debts and the interest has gone parabolic, there isn't enough dollars to actually pay. I, I am a subscriber to a degree to that dollar milkshake theory. Um, but it'll be the last to fall and it'll be the hardest to fall. And then everything goes inflationary. But first, the deflationary, we run to dollar. Um, I'm hoping also metals and Bitcoin so that the dollar doesn't get all the benefit. Um, but either way, it will pump. And I would say to you, use consider yen as an as an alternative as well. So if you're, if you're in Bitcoin, you can buy and sell Bitcoin also in yen. And if you're not in a hurry and you leave a limit order, there's reasonable liquidity. Bond bubble relies on selling on to sucker. Could do well in negative rates in T-bull blows up. So I have a problem with those that just say go with the bonds. Um, debt jubilee is almost certain for me. Some form of restructuring of all debt. Because the point is we're at the hyperbolic end of the curve. So it's been building up, building up, getting ever more exponential. We're at the hyperbolic point of the curve. It can, can only go hyperbolic for so long before it becomes absolutely technical and there's no such thing as monetary policy. We're probably there already. That's why we have negative interest rates um, and start to have these across so many um, points. Why do I want to have a risk of actually losing my money? Because you could still lose it and they can do this debt jubilee only for them to give me a negative interest rate in the best, in the best set of circumstances while they're proliferating more money and my money buys me half what it used to buy me because they've doubled the supply of money. So how's that a good investment? People will trade it and will win for a while until they don't. And I don't want to do any hold my nose trades. That's where I differ from, say, Raul at uh, Real Vision and all of this. Debt is somebody else's investment and is somebody else's obligation. Canceling debt means you cancel somebody's obligation, but you're also canceling somebody else's investment. Sorry, I, I, am I asking the wrong questions? There's something I'm not understanding. You can't talk about debt jubilee in the same um, terms as wanting to go long bonds, but if we stumble into the final reset event. And debt jubilees happen. You just haven't seen one in your lifetime. That's why you have no frame of reference. The same way as people that never saw World War II or World War I. You think, ah, oh, it's... A threat but we always seem to you know pull back from the brink and sanity prevails until we don't <laughs> you know and the debt jubilee does happen i don't understand your question username bitcoin controlling shares um i don't understand um so i, I can't i can't respond i'm sorry Carl Young, banks are having trouble in China. Media quiet about it. The media are quiet about bank trouble full stop, especially during Brexit. You know, they aren't talking about Deutsche Bank very much anymore. You get one article that pops out, a little flurry, when, and then they don't want to talk about Commerce Bank, the Italian banks. They don't want to talk about any of that while Brexit is going down. They don't want to remind all the little renter crowd mobs outside Downing Street for which there always has to be some wailing crank moaning like some absolute insane man with cerebral palsy about coop now we're having a coop um because he doesn't want to lose his prison masters um and you know the, the, uh, 
what do I, you know, what do you say to a guy like that? It, the eurozone is, is is ruined. The banks are ruined, and actually, the UK banks are ruined too. So, the UK by Brexiting, they won't escape that, and they're so intertwined that even if you are the strongest bank, because you have transmission services, you have deposits with each other, it's all cross mingled. It's like a ring, a ring of roses, a tissue, a tissue. We all fall down. You know that's how the nursery round goes. Doesn't matter that one slightly sneezed and the other one properly sneezed with a good old chunk of mucus flinging onto the floor no you're all sick it's just the degree that varies um and you all fall down together because you're a system you're not a single isolated bank you're a banking system and somebody else's cash flow problem is your cash flow problem because they owe you and you've got things that are um clawbacks i was looking at corporatocracy in fact it might even be worth um, me reading this passage to you. If you want to understand corporatocracy, stay here for 10 seconds. I'm back in five. And so he returns. Not quite within five. I might have lied. Um, I'll also need light. Um, so this is just so that you understand banks and the corporate machinery. Let me put all the lights on then um, so that it's not offset. Your corporatocracy is the following. There are so many companies. I'll read the summary from this one book for you all. And I will tell you the book's name at the end. And it's really short, but it'll give you an idea of the scale of it. Um, so here it starts. In terms of economic entity, many of the world's largest corporations rank higher than countries when measured by returns and GDP. That's no surprise to you. Uh, many of these corporations are financial firms. Mm, problem. 737 shareholders retain at least 80%. So you want to talk about pyramids. You've got 737 shareholders basically running an entire corporation. 80% is total dominant control. Um, then you must go, we go further. A study from the Swiss Federal Institute of Tech, let me look at the camera, not on my screen, said the following. Um, there's a, a database comprising 37 million economic actors. So 37 million economic actors, which they narrowed down to 43,000 transnational companies. So we've gone from 37 million economic actors to 43,000 transactional companies. They then remodeled the cross holdings. In other words, one guy's hand in another guy's pocket and his hand in your crotch, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then they remodeled the cross holdings and discovered that a tightly knit group of 1,000, the numbers keeps getting smaller, listen and pay attention, 1,318 companies hold a large portion of the corporate control of the entire world. So now we've got it down to 1,318 companies in these cross holdings that control the entire world. Then, then it gets better. Um, the inner core of that 1,318 companies consists of just 147 companies, which are the most powerful and essentially all own parts of one another. Not surprisingly, most entities of the super core are banks. So we're down to 147 companies. And you want to know, you're already in a, com a communist, state-based, overly financially engineered technocracy. You're already there. 147 companies, which are the most powerful and essentially all own parts of one another. Not surprisingly, most entities of these are banks. Financial institutions dominate the top 10. With Barclays op occupying, you would be surprised, Barclays occupying first place, closely followed by AXA, State Street, JP Morgan, Vanguard, UBS, and Merrill Lynch. This structure epitomizes the interlocking relationships between institutions and therefore the people who preside over them. Frequently, individuals are directly linked through board seats at different companies, a fact that creates informational flows, aligned interests, and opportunities. These network dynamics tend to promote corporatism just a little bit, where major interest groups have great influence on state, on state, on the world, on the entire world. So you've got 10 companies, most of which are financial. This world is a financial rigged 
corporate game. This aren't about making stuff and adding value and doing stuff. It's all about the financial engineers that corporately extract Ursherly and do derivatives and all sorts of complex things that have slowly weaveled their way into owning. Those top 10 companies largely own the entire economic activity of this planet. I know it's not in entirety, like 100%. But huge stakes. And the same people are CEOs and remuneration directors on each other. You want a definition of corporatocracy? Those 10 companies right there that I just mentioned. And they dovetail with tech. The people behind Barclays are the people behind um, the dark state, in essence. You know, they got they drummed up some money from Qatar when they needed to be a bit bailed out. So that's what you got. Uh, I said I'd tell you the book. I don't recommend, she doesn't understand conspiracy at all, but she talks about super hubs, um, and that's the book if you want to read that passage. That was one of the key points that was true that I did read, um, and it's called Super Hubs, and it's by Sandra Navidi, Sandra Navidi, and it's all about Bilderberg books. She just sees it as people networking, and it's also awesome how they get on so well, and they meet at Bilderberg and the IMF and all of that. Some interesting stories about the ex-head Ackerman on Deutsche Bank, though, that was quite interesting. But she doesn't get that this is actually part of a network uh, and control structure. So I, I read her for the facts that I do get that are useful, but she won't join the pieces up for you, but you'll get a lot of useful information. Okay, guys. Um, Vatican State, District of Columbia, City of London. Absolutely, Dan. That's them. And those are the vessels and corporations they work through. Um, between Agsby, Brzezinski's big new, yes. No Brexit because these cowards won't leave and make deal later. Um, yes. Okay, gents. I'm going to call this time. This was about gold and silver. We got into a few other interesting topics. Thanks for being with me. There's 204 of you that were pretty consistent all the time. I got 164 likes. I like it. If you want to buy gold and silver, it's down there below. Now, let me finish by saying non-farm trading assessment. You can come and pay. You'll have to pay shekels to me. Huge mortgage required, $197. You can come on the non-farm if you want three for the price of two. You can pay $397. You will get one and a half hours of checking out the markets where you will actually see the charts and the drawing. You can come and mingle with my amazing community that I'm eternally grateful for. Um, while we hunt down our trades, we we'll may well put some trades. This is September. This is the most critical month of the year. Every year I say markets take new directions here. And this has exactly happened. I said 2nd of September 2009 was the day gold broke and it made new highs. It went from 1900 when everyone called me a fool for thinking it would even go above 1000. Um, and we're doing the same about silver, although it had broken already in April. And it took the $1350 level, which I do not see it returning to in the same way I said of 962. Could be wrong as ever, but I'm calling that a never to be seen again level. Um, and the same time, silver has absolutely shone. If I'm wrong on the 1350, it'll happen soon. It'll be over quickly. The longer the time goes, the less likely. Uh, we are in a parabolic state. The gold and silver markets, to summarize what we said today, the gold and silver markets are showing you that the reset is currently unfurling right here in front of you. The reset isn't as the camel dies. The reset is the process of you watching him die and watching a key, a key event in his health take a nasty turn for the worse. And this is what the canary in the gold mine is signaling right here, right now. Your gold and silver ratio was the most important chart that I looked at today, and it absolutely fell out of a rising wedge, which with such conviction, even though I suspect it will have a short return move, it is the beginning of a change in trend confirmation that silver has now got its running shoes on, and for every step that the gold takes, it's going to take a leap, and it's probably going to do 2.5 to 3x of the the gold um, uh, to do it. You can come and book and chat and become a member of our community if you so choose by uh, pointing to the link below as well. There's a free mini series if you just want to know who we are and the kind of things we say. And this is your first interaction. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for hitting the bell. And if you would like uh, to start your all saving, I, my daughter does this. I've given that link that I've put in view to my daughter, hand on heart, she is being taught by a father to save in real money. I tell you what I tell my children. 
Um, so take it from me. This is not uh, a, a pitch. This talks from the heart. Um, and if you want to become a community member, go watch, uh, go book a call. And if you want to buy gold, go do the necessary. If you want to see the free mini series, go do the necessary. But today is critical confirmation of the gold, silver, bull uh, market. And silver is now running with the wolves. Uh, and it is also a key reset moment about our system, which I will uh, expect to see in pieces at some point and some great moments and some shocking headlines um, as they clamp down um, and they go through the fear, the problem, reaction, solution, rigged game on your money system. And the more of it you hold in your hands, Possession being nine-tenths of the law, I reiterate my summary, summary on that as well, said three times. Um, apply that to all that you do. Do not have states or wards or any place where you keep your real money. Have cash as well was another key point that came out in summary for you as I'm about to finish. Have high levels of cash notes, physical cash notes, possession, nine-tenths of the law. Have high uh, levels of uh, precious metals and don't keep it obviously necessarily in obvious places don't even keep it at your own home um, uh, you can do whatever you like creatively with that I say thank you for your comments and coming on um, and God bless you uh, take uh, take care um, and plan it's happening it's real you've got to sometimes shake your shake yourself up a little bit it's busy happening it's not when the Lehman's event occurs, that's that's the spine severing. Um, you might think that's a tr critical moment. The whole buildup is the moment, and we've been in that buildup right the, right the way, uh, and it's now accelerating. And things are getting out of hand, and they're not holding it together very well. And the direction that you get taken on September, and this does apply also for Bitcoin. I thought we could have a decent pullback on Bitcoin. It may not happen. We might pump uh, from here. Um, so the risk off assets are signaling that the second half of this year may be a very good year for them. So with that, uh, I love you and leave you and thank you for that. Uh, and uh, if you like these and you want to enjoy more of them, hit the bell. Uh, that way you get notified. Um, leave a comment and do a share. Remember, if you think there's valid information in here, share it to others. They will help you helping uh, us all. Uh, in other words, we need to be organized. We can't be fractured. The reason why they dominate us is because they organize, they plan, and they have a scheme. The man with a plan beats the geniuses. We've got to become genius and we've got to have a plan. And the plan is we protect ourselves and our family and we look after our, uh, our friends. And, and to do that, we've got to be able to help them. So we've got to be strong in difficult times. And that means you prepare in advance. Train hard, fight easy. Don't just... Uh, doddle in in your wheelchair into a knife fight, you're going to get slugged. Okay? Au revoir. I salute you all. Bye-bye. I hope you've enjoyed. See you on non-farm as well. Come and buy the link. It's been shared in the notes there. See you on non-farm for a little bit more. Bye till then.